Hey everyone, welcome back to the Encrypted Capital Recap for Wednesday, March 31st. First off, we got Tron making some excellent moves today, up about 30% over the last 24 hours, and we have Justin Sun to thank for that. He's had uh, quite a few news articles come out over the last few days, and we can look at his Twitter here. Basically, it was Tron's three-year anniversary uh, today, and he also won the bid on times the computer and society april 2nd 1965 nft magazine which uh, he released about five hours ago so on top of that tron had burned 8.4 million tron and so i think all of that culminated into a really nice price rise in tron and as mentioned we had been accumulating tron for a while now uh, as we can see in this chart here my computer is acting slow I was basically trading about three cents for the longest time for about uh, the last two years or so. And now it finally started to break out. And so our first price target for Tron would be roughly about 10 cents, uh, but we are anticipating a much, much bigger move. Tron's all time high was roughly 35 cents last bull run. So we are anticipating at least a 10 X from the previous all time high, which will put our price target right around $3 and 50 cents. But Tron really moved last bull run uh insane amount thousands and thousands or tens of thousands of percents so it wouldn't surprise me one bit if tron really decides to send it to the stratosphere and we get somewhere like around 10 bucks but our long-term target for tron is conservatively three dollars and fifty cents justin sun is making another splash in the nft market following his decision to seed an investment fund that collects high profile works of art and we do know that the other week they were talking about uh, Lindsay Lohan releasing her NFT on Tron, and that got a little nice boost off of it. And so the more NFT news that comes out of Justin Sun's mouth, it appears that the higher this price is going to go, at least so it has been. And so we'll definitely be keeping an eye on Tron. Like I said, I wouldn't surprise me one bit if they really do decide to start sending it because it's been suppressed for so long. Next up, Chipotle is giving away free burritos at 100K in prizes on National Burrito Day. It says apart from burritos, the chain is also giving away $100,000 in Bitcoin. Yes, Bitcoin. It says, want a free meal this week? What about some free cryptocurrency to go with it? Chipotle fans will get the opportunity to try their luck and win either a free burrito or free Bitcoin on April 1st, which is, coincidentally enough is our Encrypted Capital Grand Opening. Awesome timing. Otherwise known as National Burrito Day. And no, it's not an April Fool's joke. We hope on Tuesday the chain announced the new promotion called Burritos or Bitcoin that will be valid for one day only. In the news release, Chipotle explained that interested individuals can go to Burritos or Bitcoin.com on Thursday to play a game for a chance to win a free burrito or up to 25 grand in Bitcoin. That's pretty cool. Uh, 10,000 people will win one free burrito while 50 players will score 500 bucks in Bitcoin and three very lucky winners will be awarded $25,000. So uh, good for Chipotle. That's cool that they're getting more and more people into the crypto space by doing a giveaway like this. But uh, as we know, in our opinion, Bitcoin gains are fairly exhausted, even if it does decide to do another two or three X. That's really not that much money when you compare some of the other gains that we've seen in some of these other altcoins. So as mentioned, I think Tron is going to do an easy, easy 4x from here just to hit its all-time high. So where would you rather put your money? You're going to put it in something that might do 2 or 3x maybe, meaning that Bitcoin would potentially do a 45x from its low back in last March. Or would you want to put your money into something that still has yet to really make a nice move up? Uh, I would obviously choose the latter and we have chose the latter and we are completely out of Bitcoin and all of our money is now sitting in altcoins. And if you subscribe to our newsletter, you know exactly what those coins are and the research and data to back them up along with charts. So uh, definitely subscribe to our newsletter if you have not already done so. We do have a free version and a paid version. And look at this Tron chart. Like I said, huge range of accumulation. Uh, consolidated on top of there for a little while. And now it's starting to make its move to the upside. And look how far we have to go just to hit its all-time high. I mean, like I said, you're talking about 4 or 5x from here. And I think that's going to easily, easily be knocked out. And, you know, 
three three fifty uh, wouldn't surprise me one bit. Also talking about Dent, uh, Dent had released some news earlier today about their marketplace, and it's a question. You know, is that one of those news articles where it's a buy the rumor, sell the news, or are they just faking people out right now? It's kind of hard to tell, but right now it's consolidating below that resistance of one and a half cents. We all know that Dent has about 10x to go from here to reach its all-time high of 11x. I'm sorry, of 11 cents, which would give you approximately 11x from here. So we'll see how that goes. But I was anticipating a nice move out of here when uh, Dent released that news on that marketplace. The fact that they're allowing uh, any third party to essentially sell their mobile data on their marketplace. So definitely keeping an eye on Dent. Uh, we'll see if we can break through this one and a half cent resistance zone. And up next, we got some news from Goldman Sachs. Markets now says Goldman Sachs reportedly jumps on the Bitcoin bandwagon, which I think is extremely misleading because if you are new to this channel, we've been covering this several times now. Uh, back in the day, June 14, 2017, Goldman Sachs startup circle launches no fee foreign payment service. Okay, so Goldman Sachs has backed circle and circle owns who? Poloniex, one of the biggest exchanges. So Goldman Sachs has been here since at least 2017. The company received $135 million in venture capital from four rounds of investments from 2013 to 2016, including $50 million led by Goldman Sachs. So Goldman Sachs is now not just getting into Bitcoin. They've been here for a while, and now they're going to start offering some of this uh, Bitcoin to their customer base. And so I'd be very, very weary uh, when I see those articles. And we also have Bitcoin bull Mike Novogratz, who coincidentally used to work for Goldman Sachs, who is one of the biggest proponents of Bitcoin, one of the biggest pushers of Bitcoin, now says he is shocked by the speed of crypto adoption. It says that billionaire Bitcoin investor Mike Novogratz told CNBC on Wednesday that even his bullish outlook for the adoption of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies by major institutions wasn't aggressive enough. The Galaxy Digital CEO has been a high-profile proponent of crypto assets, arguing that increased acceptance by companies, financial institutions, and investment funds would spur demand. It says the latest example comes from Goldman Sachs, which is planning to offer a crypto investment option to its wealth management clients in the second quarter. So, as we all know, my contrarians, we always like to look at the opposite side of the news that's coming out here and so when i see goldman sachs floating out all this information uh when i see them saying not to buy gold when i see them saying that bitcoin is the greatest thing since sliced bread i tend to look the other way and go the exact opposite direction which is exactly why we are positioning ourselves in altcoins i do anticipate this second quarter to be absolutely massive for altcoins especially the ones that we've listed in our newsletter and Another article to my point here, one BTC will be worth a Lambo by 2022 and a Bugatti by 2023. So they're saying roughly 250K for Bitcoin in 2022 and a Bugatti means that's about a million bucks. So you're talking a million dollar Bitcoin in 2023 is what the Kraken CEO is saying. And we all know that Jesse Powell, Kraken CEO, is obviously a billionaire by now. So when he floats out this type of news. I always have to question it and see if so. If Bitcoin does 250k by 2022, uh, be roughly 10 to 15 x its previous all-time high, uh, and that's what we did the last bull run. So I don't know. Is he right? Maybe, but I am looking elsewhere because even if it does go up to 250 thousand dollars, you're talking 4x from here. I'm gonna get 4x on Tron in basically three weeks probably. So. Next up, we got exclusive Visa moves to allow payment settlements using cryptocurrency. Visa Inc. said on Monday it will allow the use of cryptocurrency USD coin to settle transactions on its payment network, the latest sign of growing acceptance of digital currencies by the mainstream financial industry. And that's probably why we saw that rise in Ether because Ether uh, USD coin is on the uh, Ether platform. It's an ERT20 token. That's probably why we got some move up. And I do anticipate a move up here in Ethereum uh, shortly as the Bitcoin steam starts to run out and as we've seen with uh, Jim Cramer in that interview with Anthony Pompliano that he has now exited 
his initial investment in Bitcoin and is now looking for the next best thing. Look for Ethereum articles to be floated out here as Ethereum being the next best thing to Bitcoin and look for that price to increase drastically. I would anticipate somewhere between a fifteen and twenty thousand dollar Ethereum as that would closely follow uh, what Bitcoin has done. And we know that Ethereum did test the same price that Bitcoin once tested in its previous bull run of eleven hundred dollars. It seems like it is following it fairly closely. So a $20,000 Ethereum, I would not be surprised by that. So you're looking at roughly a 10X from here in Ethereum. I do not think Ethereum is going anywhere. I do think that Ethereum is going to be around for a very long time, considering the fact that all of these ERC-20 token projects are built on Ethereum. If Ethereum goes away, then that means a majority of the crypto space is gonna go away. So I do think Ethereum is a good investment, but again, Okay, 10x. I'm in it for the 50 to 100x's. And those are what we were looking for. Those are what we're putting on the newsletter. So, um, yeah, you guys know where we stand if you guys are part of that. Next up, Bitcoin flash crashes by 2K in five minutes, liquidating $600 million in longs. This is why you guys do not want to trade on margin. There are so many crazy gains you can make just using your own money and not having to borrow any money from the exchanges and essentially liquidating your positions and all your hard earned money. Uh, you, there's no point for me, at least unless you're a professional trader and you know exactly what you're doing and you've been in the game for a long time and you've made a bunch of money and you've lost a bunch of money, you know what to look out for. I highly, highly discourage trading on margin because all those people now that were going long on Bitcoin as it approached that $60,000 mark again, um, if you're trading on too much leverage, you just got wiped out and liquidated and all your money's gone when you could go ahead and basically just invest in any one of these other cryptocurrencies and just sit on your hands for a little bit, wait for it to mature and putting in, you know, a thousand dollars or five thousand dollars could easily turn into ten to fifty thousand dollars if you do your research and know what coins you're getting into. So I definitely, definitely do not advise trading on margin, uh, but obviously do your own research. Next up, we have Bitcoin has best start to year since 2013 as gold disappoints. Yes, uh, obviously, look at those candles. Bitcoin has been on insane tear, as we mentioned, 15x. It's all time, uh, 15x from the bottom back in March. So when I see information like this come out on Coindesk, who, let's not forget, Coindesk is owned by the digital currency group, Barry Silbert, uh, part of Grayscale Trust. They essentially have their own news source, so they control the news narrative when it comes to cryptocurrencies, Coindesk being that narrative. So if Bitcoin has the best start to the year since 2013 and they're telling you that gold is disappointing, well, for me, obviously, I'm going to go look at gold right now. And so what did I do? I went ahead, I looked at gold, and would you look at that? That article comes out and it's bouncing off support, right? It looks like it's about to form a double bottom here. This is exactly where I would like to be buying and entering gold right now. And I am gonna go ahead and enter gold and silver both because they are both supremely undervalued in my opinion. That is the conclusion that I have came to. So I will be looking into these assets, especially when mainstream news tells me not to. That's when I really get my ears perked up and I wanna go ahead and dive in and find out exactly what's going on with gold. So right at support, gold is bouncing and they're telling you not to buy it because Bitcoin is a way better performer. Okay, so now you're gonna exit. If you have gold, you're gonna exit your gold position and go chase Bitcoin and you're gonna get crushed right now. You're gonna get creamed if you decide to do that. So look into gold, look into silver, look into other suppressed assets. That's what this channel is all about. That's where you guys will make the most amount of money if you go ahead and find what people are not talking about. So. With that being said, that will do it for this edition of the Encrypted Capital Recap. We get our grand opening tomorrow, April 1st. Hopefully that's a great start to the quarter, a great start for altcoins, and a great start for all of our clients. So we will catch you guys in the next video.